looks like another country. I like, in Canada's a great maple syrup country. You get off the plane here, it's like, welcome to Canada. Would you like some maple syrup? No, I'll just have a hotel. Just tell us how you want your maple syrup. Do you want a jar, a barrel? You want a little woman you squeeze her, it squirts out of her head? I like how out here everything's in English and French. Like if you go to the elevator, it has elevator in English and French like it. They didn't have it in your language. You'd be standing there the whole time going, gee, it's one of those apartments on a rope. <laughs> and if you stay at a hotel and you ask for a wake up call, first they wake you up in French and then in English. Because if you don't speak French, uh, you wouldn't wake up. <laughs> and if you did wake up, you'd brag to all your friends, you know, I didn't get my wake-up call, but oddly enough, some French guy called me. <laughs> you know, I would like to declare war on Canada one day. Seems like an easy war to win. Everyone's very affable here. I, I feel like you could march into Canada and go, we're here to destroy your country. Well, let us know if we can be of help, eh? <laughs> you know, once I was talking to Herman Melville, and he said, I'm writing a book called Moby Dick. It's about a guy in a boat. Do you think it needs something? And I said, offhand, a whale. <laughs> and he goes, what do I need a whale for? I don't know, i uh, thrown a whale and a uh, one-legged sea captain. And uh, how did he lose his leg? I don't know, uh, the whale bit it off. So what you're trying to tell me is a tiny little sea captain falls into the ocean and a gigantic whale with an enormous mouth swims up to him and he nips one leg off. He turns his head, looks at it, and nips one leg off. He's a sea captain the size of a Rice Krispie and he falls in the water, and a whale with a mouth the size of LaGuardia Airport swims up, and he, he nips a leg off. I guess he just wasn't hungry that day. <laughs> and how was he able to live if I don't know uh, the other sailors save him? So. This tiny little sea captain falls into the ocean, an enormous whale with a gigantic mouth rips his leg off, and a group of sailors who don't have a kindergarten education perform microsurgery and save his life. And I said, uh, well, I can't write the whole thing for you. Thank you. Jerry Seinfeld as Hamlet. <laughs> to be or not to be. I don't know if I should be or not. Who are these people i be? You know, the other day I was talking to Christ and he said, I've got a hot day tonight. I said, yeah, you think you'll get lucky? He said, are you kidding? She'll fuck anything that's not nailed down. <laughs> Thank you, good night.